Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, we finally got there. Sorry about that, guys. Nothing like a false start <laughs> on the first time we have someone in the stream with us. Let's do all that quick recap again. Hello, my name is Femininely. I'm live from the World of Warships North America office. Uh, we are here, joined today, dragged in by a ball and chain, Mr. URL guy. How are you doing today, URL? I mean, fine. The chain's kind of tight down there, but uh, other than that, everything's going great. That's good to hear. Well, guys, this is actually the second time we've managed to steal Mr. URL away from his memes, away from his content, and actually got him on camera. First time was in the Austin Hotfix video, but he is he was very graciously forced into coming onto stream today. How are you feeling about being on stream in front of the people? Uh, well, they've already seen how mediocre I am at this game in the past when we did kind of the Clan Wars thing. Oh. So there's really, like, there's no need to rip the band-aid off or anything because they, they already know. So let's get to this. Oh, uh, so we're on Haven. Yep. Oh, uh, where where do you want to head? Well, we are we are bottom tier, being tier sixes in this. You know, as oh. you guys know, we always start off in our Perth game to begin with. Last few Perth games for me, I've usually ended up dead within the first five minutes. So oh, gonna, fantastic! We're trying to we're trying to break that curse alone. at the moment. All right, so we are fragile, down tiered little babies. All right, so we do see a majority of our team kind of shifting towards bottom of B cap, as what kind of usual meta is for this map. So I think. I think we, uh, we'd better kind of follow them and kind of stay with the big brothers, if you will. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. So, like I mentioned, this is his second time on camera. How long have you worked for Wargaming URL? Uh, like, since 2015, 2016, give or take. So three years and on camera twice. I have you yes. beaten in the nine months I, I've worked here. <laughs> well, that, 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 was by, that was by design, because originally, like, content writers and folks at the company like aren't like part of community yeah. and all that jazz but then uh when people started noticing the url stuff thus thus the name that persists to this day yeah um it started creating like a lot of conversation on reddit um of all the things i've done like that is the thing that sort of uh generated the most to uh, the legend so to speak Yes, that is, that is very true. Your your name, the URL guys, for those who don't know, uh, became a common nickname that everyone gave the mysterious guy in the office who made all of the website URLs for the different articles. How did that start? Like, what 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 was the trigger? Hey, I'm gonna name this one a funny name or something. Uh, it was just something where like I I just started and so like creatively speaking, I wasn't doing like a whole bunch. I was just kind of taking the kind of text that they mm -hmm. um, pr proposed to me, and I just kind of put it in the website because I was just starting. I wasn't wasn't sure what risks you could take in terms of you know creating content, uh, and so like the one point of creativity where no one seemed to notice or care was kind of the little URL at the top. Yeah. Um, and so I think the very first one that got posted to Reddit was uh, I think it was. A preview of Belfast. Okay. Um, and it was just the URL was literally yes, we're finally re releasing Belfast or something snide, <laughs> something snide like that. Some sort of sneaky comment based on community perception. Hey, because we did we did keep her keep her waiting for a while before releasing. Yeah, that was one of the, one of those ships where uh, you know in comment sections and forums everyone was asking when's this ship coming out, and so that little that little sneaky remark was kind of a uh, <laughs> way of kind of responding to that on a That's low a little bit of level. respect to the players regarding that one. It's like, yes, we understand. Surprised we didn't have something similar for Alaska. Uh, so I don't do, so over the years, I've kind of, I'm doing less and less on uh, the website itself now. Mm -hmm. Like if you, if you know, if you go to the website now and just kind of click a whole bunch of articles, you'll see lots of them kind of just have a, ordinary stuff mm -hmm. um, and that's because like we've got different folks creating more stuff for that and so you'll see probably more of my work in social media with uh, crap like uh, naval nonsense and uh, if like the social media channels are looking feeling a little more meme -y lately that's <laughs> that's mostly been my touch yes the meme lord has definitely been touching social media with his uh with his goods as it were uh, a few quick questions i'll quickly ask for you guys Yes, uh, Maledicus, I think is how I pronounce that. Um, all servers are eligible for all of the social media giveaways. They are not region bound, as are as is the case of the uh, ones on the stream as well. They are all region free, so anyone and everyone is eligible to enter those. Um, 
Thank you for the stealth patch to, uh, sorry, thank you for the patch for stealth AA. Oh, you're welcome. Um, can I play an adjusted I, uh, Russian, sorry, Japanese CV? Yes. So speaking of CVs, and uh -huh. I'm, I'm a very appropriately wearing a CV shirt today. How you, what, what do you think of the new CVs? Because you've done quite oh, a man. little bit Good. of uh, content work on them. Yeah, so I played a little bit in the lower tiers, and I think that uh, first adjustment to realizing that yeah, the low tiers only drop one torp at a time was a little bit of a shocker for me. But most of my hands-on time with the carriers actually came with uh, just doing footage capture in mm -hmm. training rooms. Uh, and so on a competitive level, I did not have a lot of hands-on time, um, specifically because you don't really want to drag down people's random experience. <laughs> I've read, I've read enough form threads and posts, and uh, I'm, I know better than to uh, branch out too far from what I'm from comfortable comfort with. zone. So, guys, as I mentioned before, today is Division Day. If you would like to play with uh, Mr. U the URL guy and myself, all you need to do is whisper my name in game. That is F-E-M-E-N-N-E-N-L-Y. We'll take you guys on a first come, first serve basis. Um, but yeah, do that if you would like to come play around with the legend himself. The one of the most notable uh, notable names in game. One of the most recognizable. Because, I mean, as a whole, the community really did come up with your name. Yep. So you're, do you're obviously doing a lot better than me at the moment. Because I'm half dead and you're still very much alive. Well, for one, like, I mostly hid behind your smoke, but now I'm going <laughs> to crash into Massachusetts, and blah. Hang on, I gotta apologize. Uh, Alright, there you go. At least now they know. Um, World of Warships, I notice a lot of people who do not accept the Masquerado, um, will there still be more invites sent out? Yes, uh, the Masquerado's NA event... Um, I did make, I did release the so far list. Uh, we're up to 200 applicants. If you guys are interested in participating that on that as a masquerado, there is still time to get your name in the hat. Um, I am doing second chance draws this, the over the next two days leading up to the event, which will kick off on the next stream, which will be Friday at 4 p.m. But masquerados does bring us into another interesting point. Uh -huh. One one thing that you do a lot of within our our office is you do a lot to do with the artwork that is seen around the place, including you were a uh, a major stakeholder in the Masquerados artwork. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not an artist myself. I can't draw like worth a crap, but uh, I do do a lot of. We appreciate the... your honesty. <laughs> uh, I do kind of like of the art direction stuff, where we kind of decide on what kind of the vibe and what the visual design is going to be. And then I work with the art team we've got and kind of write the descriptions. And here, like, you know, the idea was that we wanted to do sort of a Mardi Gras carnival thing. And so uh, just doing a quick Google, there are a lot of floats with, uh, you know, the jesters, the masks and stuff. So mm -hmm. I liked the idea of having art where the ships were actually fighting like giant versions of like these weird parade floats. And then uh, the sketches we got back were... Uh, a little terrifying. A little creepy. Yeah, um, I posted on the URL Guy Twitter one of the sketches we got where, like, the mask was, like, glowing red. And it was and, all dark, like a scary monster rather than a festive celebration. Yeah, and then for some reason, instead of a jester mask, it was, like, this spiked mask cut with all these big spikes coming out of the side, which seemed weird um so i just gave my feedback and then the next one they ca came back was more fe still had kind of that cool sinister vibe because you're fighting these giant uh mm -hmm. mask things but at the same time it was still still festive and stuff yeah it's one of our favorite about events to run over here in on the na server is the masquerados is the bounty weekends so if you guys are around on the na server this weekend make sure you check it out there is information on the portal i don't know how much damage do you have? Uh, how much damage have I dealt, or how much damage have I received? Well, one I've done better than you, the other one not so much, but that's okay. I'm just pleased to have you on. It's uh, not not like uh, it's not usual that we do get you on. Uh, play the Edinburgh Navy. Uh, are you selling another Steel Monsters campaign? No, we just have the one Steel Monsters at this time. If we decide to release another one, of this course Alabama's it will be gonna publicized. Nope, actually it missed. Ooh, nice. Okay. I'm, a, I'm rolling around with next to no health and a Lexington that's trying to find me in my smoke. 
All right, dropping those very slow Duca de Osta torpedoes and hoping for the best. Good luck. I think I might actually die to this torpedo here. Oh yeah, I did. Hey, so one of the uh, one of URL guys' major concerns coming on this stream was, you know, I'm not the best player because you know I do a lot of other work around the office. And I really don't want to show off my game plan. I'm like, don't worry. I, I, I bet I won't die that op that many those that many times before you. First game in. Then oh, are you, dies oh first. you're down already. All right. Yep. Cool. We'll there jump we go. Back. We'll swap to uh, we'll swap to radar. Uh, sorry, radar. Yeah, I'm so used to having radar in here with me. Oh also, hey, I actually hit one of the I, one of my torpedoes. Actually ooh, hit the Alabama. Nice okay. Nice stuff. There you go. Whoever thought clowns are funny needs their head examined. Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of how humor is. Like, it uh, it varies by culture and context. So I'm sure at the right time and place, like, clowns seemed absolutely hilarious. <laughs> but uh, now in hindsight, yeah, the, like, that whole concept seems uh, a little weird. Hindsight being 2020 and all that good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, if you have any questions for myself or Mr. URL guy, make sure you put them in chat. Just make sure you link at World of Warships so we can answer them because they come up a little bit clearer. The Canadian, is anything being done to address the unstable slash laggy UI in port? Um, as part of 8.1, we did release some uh, optimizations for the port, and we are continuing to work on optimization for the port because we do know um, it is a little bit... What's the right word there? You're good with words. Little bit questionable. Yeah, that's bit perfect. Inconvenient there you go. You're you're a regular like wordsmith yourself. Yes. Did I just hear a Red Bull can being opened? I also just managed to spill all the way down my front. <laughs> oh man, those two the Massachusetts and Alabama just rammed each other. Too bad Ooh. I was gonna whittle away with the old H E. <laughs> I have a problem with the Exeter quest. I have three of the ships that are required for the missions, but only let me use one of those ships. Then use the ship. What's the issue? Uh, I have a problem with the extra quest. I have three of the ships that is required for the mission, but it will only let me use one of those ships. Yeah, that seems like a strange bit. Uh, it might be a support thing. Yeah, uh, Kaiser Kaiser in in alleys? Um, I would go ahead and put in a ticket to support. I'll go show you the link in chat. 2G, premium CV is available for sale again. That is going to be after 8.2, which is slated for later in March, most likely. As long as all goes well. As you guys have noticed by our hotfix today, we are still very dedicated to making adjustments as we go along, as needed for various aspects of the CV rework. And of course, we, do our, we are still aware that we have some fun sound bugs in game. Ooh, someone smacked that Baltimore. Was that you? Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. when you're meant to say, yes, them. That was me. I mean, I could lie to you, but then the entire uh, stream sees what's actually going on on my screen, so that really doesn't work. Oh, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I, I, okay. Hang on, maybe. I, I appreciate your honesty. All right. Let's see if I. Nope. Nope. Okay. Hey! No, I got that last hit. Hey! Everyone All right. claps out for URL. Claps out for URL. Look at me, just the regular kill stealer here. Uh, why are you implementing Russian BBs when still trying to balance CVs? Is it two different departments? Uh, Gary, at the moment, yes, um, it is slightly two different departments. The other thing is, Russian battleships are very still, uh, sorry, are still very much in very early testing, um, whereas uh, CV, you know, it's going to change and it's going to be ongoing until pretty much 8.4. I believe is when we're we're hoping to have all balances completed and, and no more adjustments needing to be made. I think we've won this one. It's looking very good, and I'd be careful with that broadside though. Uh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is how. Nah, they missed. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, they whittled me down a little bit. Okay. Let's see if they go for the super slow torpedoes. I got lucky with the Alabama. Uh, Patrick Mitchell, are there any planned hot fixes for the sound glitches with 8.1? Sometimes no gun sounds. Um, so Patrick. A hotfix came out today, hotfix 8.1.1, uh, addressing some of the sound issues. Unfortunately, not all of them were resolved. Um, I believe we're going to be continuing to address them in potential another potential hotfix, or it will be in the next update of 8.2. It just depends. Nope, and it's turning around, not getting any torp hits. We won, though. You carried us. Uh, yeah, carry. I totally carried you guys. Yeah. I mean, I, I was, I was. 
Kyle was dead for most of the match, but let's see if we can get our first community member in. All right, um, who's joining us? Who's joining us? Who wants to play with the meme man? All right, yeah. I, I, look, it, I'll, I accept it. That's fine. <laughs> okay, if you want to swap back to my screen, you're all on, right. Okay, we're taking in the 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 godless donut, the donut without godless. Godless donut. That sounds familiar. Why does that ring a bell? Because we had donuts in the office yesterday. Oh, okay, that's probably <laughs> maybe. It. All tier right, seven. so tier seven Z uh, Z thirty nine. Let me see what I have, tier seven wise. Uh, oh man. I, I believe a, a ship you you rather enjoy that tier seven or that you told me you played a lot of. Well, uh, so, way back when we first released Leningrad, mm -hmm. um, I still was not that good at the game, but they gave me a Leningrad anyway uh, to get some screenshots and footage capture. Um, and I loved the speed, and so I was playing it in randoms, even though I probably shouldn't have been, been playing it in randoms. But I got I got a little better at it over time. Uh, so let's see. Let me well, you know what they say, practice makes progress. So the more you practice, Potentially, the more progress you made. Uh, Jeff B, was there a reason to have not gotten a PM from Masquerados? I had over over 4,000 applicants for Masquerados. Um, through that, I did explain my process of how I picked people on the forums on the new Masquerados list. Um, as part of that, I have offered a second chance selection by posting the reason why you would like to be a Masquerado in that uh, forum thread, since I am aware that, well, although I sent out over 300 invites, I only had 170 people reply back to me, so... That's why we give ourselves enough time to do a second round of recruiting for the event. Uh, will the USS Maryland be added to the game? Uh, Lever, we have plans for lots of different ships, just when ready up when you're ready. Oh. <laughs> so we've been sitting here this entire time and I hit didn't hit the ready button. My, That's okay. We all my apologies, time. stream. <laughs> um, we have loads of different ships planned for production, planned coming into the game. Um, when it comes to, hey, are you adding X ship? If it was historical, if it was paper or built, and if it makes sense for the time zone, there's a good chance at some point in the future it will be added in game. Um, unfortunately, we don't really, we can't really give information. Oh yeah, this ship's coming, you know, May 2020, for example. They just oh, kind yeah, of. Oh yeah, totally. We we barely know what's coming out next week, let alone next. You know, mm -hmm. we have a very broad overlying timeline in our minds that was presented to us, but we can't share that with you. Yeah, and. Yep, and they've been. Uh, I've been asking for the USS William Deporter in game for about two years now, and you know they still they just don't answer me anymore. So yeah. we we get like general news about when stuff is coming, but beyond that, we're not gonna be able to provide a lot of ship release dates for the coming future. Walker uh, WJ55 asks, "Do you ever open your crates?" Uh, not not lately. Um, but ah. yeah, I, I usually should. Like I was opening a whole bunch. I, I usually open a whole bunch when we're doing the Halloween-based events, um, or the hol yeah the holiday like uh, the Halloween mode in mm -hmm. Santa crates. But then after that, I just kind of let them sit until I feel like uh, passing some time with some crate opening. All right, so this map here is. Estuary. 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 It's one uh, of my favorite maps to play a destroyer on, actually. It's, All right. it's just a fun map. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm so used to uh, playing destroyers on maps where it's got the, um, where it's the, it's domination instead of standard battles. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I never know what to do in standard battles. Uh, I guess spot down. Uh... I usually on this map, I like to go more wide okay. and provide spotting for the team who'll typically more sit kind of D three four or so, kind of doing the bum rush into their chat into their cap start of the game. Usually doesn't end up too well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially going wide, I've, I've found has been a lot uh, better with the uh, rework because uh, I feel like a lot of players send their planes more to near the center of the map. And so if you're going wider around the sides of the map, it's a little harder to get uh, plane spotted. But that that's just that is true because most, most captains will kind of stick between like the... The kind of the four to eight lines, if you will, or the three to eight lines. So if you go a bit wider, you can usually avoid quite a bit. Ooh, Abomination, this is actually a really interesting question. Mm -hmm. Did you go rogue when you started doing the URLs? Or did someone say, go for it? 
Uh, well, someone was saying, because I'm like, well, I don't, like, I'm just kind of taking stuff and put it in here. It's like, and, um, and then someone else uh, who was also do working on content all the time actually said, oh, yeah, you know, you could put some funny URL in there if you wanted to. Um, and they had been doing it for a while, but they weren't that funny. Uh, so... <laughs> so you got your funny bone out and helped. Yeah, I guess. I just started putting things in there because it was mostly to entertain myself. Um, I feel like you were making a difference. Yeah, so it's like, oh yeah, you know, because that you you do that sometimes where you want to leave your own personal mark on something mm -hmm. just to keep yourself entertained. Ooh, I okay, cool. Uh, it's okay, I'm right, I'm right here with you. I'm going to seeds to try and make myself All a right, little more tempting. All right, this Jervis. Oh, the Jervis is gonna beach. Enemy Jervis is gonna beach. Toast. My issue is more. I'm getting plane detected and attacked. I mean, I'm detected by planes. Oh, now something should happen. Hang on, I gotta. Gotta re evaluate. Okay, I'm dark again. Ooh, Since I've been on. playing the Laterapy so much, I always forget I have smoke. It's my, uh, my, my stream likes that. Um, <laughs> MacTub asks Did you know there's a button that opens all of them at once in regards to crates? Yeah, I know they added that recently. <laughs> yes, we, we certainly did. Um, Sang. Sang. Jewelry Dan, I think. Oh, I hit something with a torpedo. Oh, it was a DD. Um, asked about the Mac version of the game. The Mac, oh, there is not a native Mac client. You can get around using the Mac wrapper tool. However, it is not kind of natively supported. I don't know what the plans are with a Mac client at this time. Um, unfortunately, I can't provide you more information on that. Okay. I simply, you're, you're simply backing up the wrong tree asking me that one. Panic I have, smoking. I have three Windows PCs. Panic smoking, that's the best kind of smoking. I'm panic sitting outside of my smoke and shooting. We did manage to get rid of the Jervis, so it's a little little less angry over here. Oh yeah, I'm just I'm down to uh, around uh, twelve hundred hit points, give or take. Oof. Okay, I got the flint on fire. I'm dodging torpedoes now. Managed to get through them. Um, how do you know if your PMs are enabled? Uh, it's a setting within the forums. How do you receive your info from Russia? Is Russian and you translate it, or does it come in English? Uh, yeah, it usually comes in English, and then we've got, uh, you know, we've got the good folks with uh, uh, the global teams, like, providing some English text for us. Uh, sometimes if you want to get more advanced information ahead of time, uh, you got to dig around on some Russian pages and hope that uh, Google Translate is, doesn't mislead you. <laughs> is somewhat accurate. That's only if we want to look like really far into the future. But for the most part, for stuff that's immediately going to happen, uh, they're pretty good about keeping us up to date. What has been the favorite series of like content articles that you've done, would you say? Well, so I always love... Um, Last year, after um, after April, because in April I did a fish feed again, which was when I basically I post whatever I want under the guise that it's some kind of April Fools uh -huh. thing, uh, and those ended up performing well. And so I was asked to do keep doing those throughout the year, just in various forms. And ver um, that's when we had the Sunday ship posts. Ah. Where it was basically the same kind of format with the short form listicles, lots of animated GIFs, that kind of, you know, goofy web content that we usually don't uh, go to for on our site. And so that was really fun. Uh, and so it was a lot of stuff where I just experimented. Some of it performed well, uh, some of it didn't, but that was kind of the whole point was uh, trying weird stuff and seeing what people liked and didn't like. I, I'm glad you're only doing that with content. Yep. <laughs> we do actually have a new World of Warships NA staff member who joined the office this, uh, today. She did take up the Vegemite challenge. It was not something she particularly enjoyed trying for the first time, but it was definitely worth seeing her face doing it. Oh. Yeah, no, the social media team's great. Like, they uh, take it in stride when I pitch them, uh, you know, cringy meme ideas and all that. Uh, World of Warships, did you know Ismail isn't a Turkish name, but in the game it's a Russian ship? Also, Hermes is a fashion house. They have some nice stuff. Fashion house? Okay. Things you didn't know. Man, this is just like a... Things you didn't know you needed to know. Exactly. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna have to slow down here and pop my smoke. I'm at 215 hit points exactly. Oh, good on you, so, you're still alive. Yeah, no, I've held it out this long. I've just been uh, cruising around the map, peppering away with the, and uh, pulling back, except, oh no. Oh no, the rangers sending their rocket planes. Not this the is rockets! It. This is it. Please don't be NASA, don't send the rockets. Ha, uh, they missed. Woo. Okay. Okay, Maxhub asks, what two professional skills have you uh, gained or improved upon while you're ha while you've been here at Wargaming? Two professional skills. Is that person like doing job interview questions? What the I, heck? I don't know. It's kind of interesting though. I mean, you have such an interesting job. You do so much. Like I can tell from like an, from an internal point of view, minus the point where he gets mad every time I ask him a question on something he's already released. I yeah yeah I do kind of do that, huh? That's not your fault though. I don't blame you for that one. Um, but, I mean, you, you have a really interesting role, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would be kind of interested in knowing how you kind of got into doing what you do. Uh, well, I think going back to the first question, two professional skills. One is definitely um, project management. Like, it's a very, that's a very vague phrase, but it's actually a very important skill to be able to, um, you know, start these creative projects. And obviously, you're not doing everything yourself. You are having, you know, art teams, you're having voice actors, you're having video teams put together these various forms of content. And so making sure everyone's communicating um, and everyone's on the same page, and making sure deadlines are met is a very important skill to have. And then I guess uh, the second skill that I've developed over my years here is Photoshop. Um, like I've never been formally trained in that program. Uh, and so, uh, like, over the years, I kind of just been developing the skill casually as I went. And uh, when I started here, like, Photoshop was never one of the job descriptions, but it ended up being something that uh, I needed to use, like, in a pinch. Um, so I guess that, that would be the second one. I don't know. Nice. Unfortunately, I died as well, so we're going to jump back into the port. I picked up our next division mate to come sail around with us. All right, next victim. Next victim of the uh, URL guy and femininely wrecking train. <laughs> Ship destruction squad. Go ahead, Tabman. Ooh, we've taken oh, you no. out of your comfort zone. Oh, no, zone. not tier 10. Oh, no. I'm going to be eaten alive here. It's okay. They'll, they'll watch me, not you. Sweet. All right. All right. What? I'm going to take in something a little different, I think. So, tier 10, I think really the only thing I have got is gearing and... You've got a shimmy, I believe. Do I have a shimmy? No, I have gear... Oh, from when we did that... Uh, Clan battles. battles. That might have been a separate account, because right now I'm seeing oh, okay. gearing and rooster. Okay, well... Uh, so, what's... Let's see... Uh, you know what? I'll be... I'll play the destroyer role and uh, help out. Oh! I've got the space camo on the gearing. Ooh, oh, man. All nice. right, yeah. This is going to be fun. Uh, Jerry Glaze asks, Can you make more of the bad advice guy? And the guy that does the news of the day is great. So the bad... Yeah, so the bad advice guy, that's a different, that's a different team. Um, we've been trying to use him more. Like, I have the art team using him in more memes and stuff. Um... But in terms of cart, like the animation, like the actual videos, that's like we had an animation department. Mm. Um, I think we still have them, but they work on other things now as opposed to uh, bad advice. But there, and, there's a there's a whole department in the St. Petersburg in the old office. I don't know where it is in the new office, but they had like a whole team of like four or five people down there working on bad advice bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. Hey, Marcus, good to see you too. Good to see you too. Okay, out of your comfort zone. All right, here we go. This is tr map trap. Uh, it's the trap map. All right, so we've got uh, which points do you think the team's going to focus on? Let me just ask the team. Yeah. Points. Uh, tomorrow is a new PTS, but where are the Russian BBs? Russian BBs are not ready for release, testing, etc. yet. Uh, in terms of public players, we do have them on the hands of super testers, CCs, and staff at the moment. When will you guys do another giveaway? We don't always do them, but sometimes we do them. It's a surprise. That's the whole, that's yeah. the whole appeal. Best sort of prize is a surprise. Ha, yes, that's Ha, ha, ha. Uh. I can't, like, the pointing thing doesn't work because the camera, like, crops out after 
That's when you do one of these ones. Okay, do you just do the T Rex hand? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, our green screens don't uh, don't cover enough. Is the mm-hmm. issue? <laughs> All right. So the team seems to look uh, agree on BC. BC. So I am going to start behind the island and kind of creep pre- 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 out cautiously. Do you know the significance? Uh, I was about to say of this Tuesday. It's currently Wednesday, but do you know the significance of yesterday? Uh, Particularly for British people. Nah. Like, I barely keep track of holidays <laughs> in my own country, let alone yeah. ones in other countries. Fair enough. Explain. Yes- yesterday was actually Shrove Tuesday. Which yes, I is, would have totally known that. Which is a day where you use up leftovers in your cupboard, and that usually predominantly means making pancakes for some reason. That's an oddly specific holiday, but I kind of like the I kind of like the idea of it. So my question was, or rather, Kriegel's question would be: If you had to choose pancakes or waffles, what would it be? Uh, you know, that's gonna depend. Like, if I'm just making them at home, like pancakes, but waffles. If you go to a restaurant where, um, or like hotels have them a lot for some reason, you've got those self-serve mm. griddles. Um, the mix is already pre-made and it's mixed at a great consistency, and you just dump it in and you turn the big old heavy iron <laughs> yeah in that case like if you presented me with that situation i would pick waffles easily hands down and the great thing about those is in texas all the hotels have those machines and they all in, have the texas theme in the shape of texas yes it's, yes, it's I've, oddly i've seen one or two of it's those. oddly adorable it, it here is, is really a charles cute. martel um we do have someone, a Buckletron, ask, will the Borgonite ever be available outside the arsenal? Considering the Borgonite is a steel ship, uh, which is a reward ship uh, for high level gameplay, probably not. Waffles with blueberries or strawberries? Just maple syrup? Yes. I guess, I guess if I had to choose between the two, I'd do strawberries. But I would too, I don't like blueberries. I'm more of just a maple syrup and butter kind of guy. You're kind, you're kind of a sugary guy? I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, just kind of more of a sweet guy. I mean, they're all sweet, so I don't, I don't see how that's different. But yeah. Okay. Well, I did manage to see a uh, Citadel of the Seattle, who was nice. sitting down the back. Uh, it looks like we have a Cleveland over here with us, as well as a destroyer that is uh, kind of challenging Sea Cap at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Keep an eye on B. I last poked in there, there's just the Harabumo and the Charles Martin. Yeah, the Charles Martin. I love the Bourbonnet. I love I love my French my French battleships. I think they're so nice. How was the Texas? Uh, the Texas play gathering was amazing. Uh, we had triple the amount of people we were actually expecting to come come. So we had a really good turnout. Everyone was super polite. Um, it was a really really fun event. If we uh, ever do an event in your area, I highly recommend going. All right, see if I can sneak up on this Charles Martel. Do it. Oh, he just took a torpedo, though. Did a little bit through his... I, I, I softened him up for you. <laughs> there we go. Loosened the jar. Yeah, just like the body you like in your waffles, I softened it up. Yes. Waffles, because the little pockets hold more syrup. Exact. Yes, exactly. But like, if you get just the store-bought waffles, you have to cook it. Oh uh, yeah, like the the toaster waffles. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I said, making it at home. If I make like have to make the batter and use a special like griddle. You're not yeah. as interested. Yeah, pancakes. I can make the batter and just slap on it like any pan, and I'm, I'll be fine. All like right. It. Now this Haragumo should be alone here at the cap, so I'm gonna see. If I can. Oh, my rudder's broken. I'm like, what? Oh. No. <laughs> you might want that one back. I was trying to get the Seattle before he turned out. Unfortunately, Ooh. did not Wait. have my reload and he sped up quite a bit. I'm gonna try oh, good. Our, the Midway is giving the. Uh, the Haragumo a little bit of rocket Ooh. attention. I am detected by radar, so something. Are you now? No. Okay, I killed away. the Seattle for you. <laughs> I got you, Ray. I, <laughs> I got rid of that radar for you. What do you think of, uh, I don't know what that is, sniper shot. I don't even have the chat, so I can't read it for you, but. Oh, it's this, ah, here's it, here it is. What do you think of 
Sovatrash? Is that like a name or is yeah, that? Yeah, I, I, I don't really know. Oh, Overwatch. Overwatch is Overwatch? Fine. You know, I haven't touched that game since it was in uh, beta, and I was I was okay at it, but uh, oh. it's changed so much since then. I just got heavy Citadel by Montana. Oh. Yeah. I well, I mean, you're still sailing, right? For now, I definitely made a mistake. All right, here we go. I'm gonna sneak up on the Argumo. Does not see me coming, and my torps aren't ready yet. <laughs> Nine seconds. Nine seconds shy. A little bit of premature population. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that. Exactly. Yes. Alright, there we go. Out. That uh, that pause was to lure them into a false sense of security. Ah, so look now... At, look at you with all your smart, smart Yeah, tactics. now I can instead whittle them away. Yep, it's down. It, well done. It's down before I even the torps even reached. Mostly because our uh, midway did most of the work. But, hey, uh, I mean, I got I got the nice little red ribbon, so that's what counts. That's that's all that matters. Uh, Musashi should be moved to tier ten. Why? You guys don't like it when we make when we propose changes to ships. It's a very topical topic at the moment. Ooh. Too soon. Too soon. It's a headache of a topic. At all the right, moment. Captain B. Nice. And then you've got like the Izumo and those two Montanas. You can pretty much go through the gap and just kind of wail on, really. That's a possibility. I am, though, like, at pretty low health, so... Not too bad. How wise. But yeah, once I finish the cap, I'll probably peek over. Oh, nice little 20-ish K hit there on the Azuma for me. I'm trying to have to retreat backwards and keep my angle careful at the moment because I'm at low health. We're still trying to cap this, uh, this point over here. <laughs> When will the soon be available? The spoon? The soon. Oh. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting torpedoed by the CV again. This is probably going to kill me. Oh, no. Hang in there. Keep the dream alive. Oh, uh, no. Because I was reversing, too. Oh. All right. Let me, uh... Yeah, let's, uh, let's ignore my little dead floaty boat. All right. You can also see how dire my situation is. I like this. I like this. All right, this Izumo's gonna be uh, sneaking up. Doesn't know I'm here. I'm about a little over 15 seconds away from my next uh, torpedo reload. So just all right. So we've got B. Uh, Marcusburg, the soon ship that is coming to the arsenal. We've already announced what the next three ships are going to be, which is going to be the Azuma, which will be free XP, the Yoshino, which will be coal. And the Nutrishimi, which will be steel. So the Nutrishimi is what is going in that quote-unquote soon spot. Ha. Huh. Ooh, actually, URL might be able to answer this one. MaxFab uh -oh. asks, speaking of space camos, is there any more info as to the dates and details for the upcoming space battles? Ah, well, so we saw, you know, the, the dev diaries. So they're working on it. It's going to be, I guess, soon TM. Uh, in terms of hard dates, like, it's gonna come with the next update, but, uh, we usually keep, like, the... And I beach myself. Hang on. Oh, you just pulled one up, so it's all good. Can I click the implacable? I don't have it. Although I probably could get it. Is it implacable or is it implacable? Implacable. Okay, sure. I, I, I don't honestly know, I just like calling it. Every time I pronounce something wrong, chat gets really, really mad at me, so I just kind of do a little <laughs> bit on purpose now. Hey, Rabbit, good to see you, good to see you, I hope you're doing well. Uh-oh, Argo. Hey, Lee Benson, good to see you. Sending the plane, sending the pain! Ah, oh, that's not bad. Alright. Uh, now I'm detected. Oh, good, they are aiming at the Alaska, not me. Good, 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 good. Stay safe. All right, I guess I'm gonna go venture down towards A, and see who I can pester down there. And they're looks... suggesting to switch your anti-air sides. Anti-air what? Sides? Yes. Yeah, so using that. Right. Uh. I'll be honest. I did not know that was a thing. We That's mean... okay. You, you you do really good on the on the articles. You don't have to know the game inside out. All right, perfect. 
We'll give it. We'll give him a pass in that one, guys. It's new. All right, cool. I redeemed my one pass. Yes, you did. Okay. Uh, and they say Fem has the right pronunciation. Yeah, implacable. Because I'm English, I'm allowed to. Fantastic. Uh, any info on the whereabouts of Dark Sephiroth? Uh, you know, he seems to be pretty inactive uh, in terms of his weird posts, but uh, he mostly comes out uh, on, you know, around Halloween, mysteriously. I'm actually really, for someone who says they're not very good at the game, you're doing pretty well. I mean, I'm good at surviving and uh, hitting stuff here. Let's see. How is the Exeter pronounced? Exeter. Ex it is Exeter, right? Yeah. It's like, no, that's when someone bursts in and goes, No, you are guy, you uncultured fool. It's ex eater. Yeah, ex, ex eater. You know what? That's, I'm going to call it ex eater for now on. Well, you know, we're going to do that from now on in the office, and everyone's going to be like, What are they talking about? I don't know about you, but I'm all down for confusing them. Fantastic. All right, let's poke on down towards A. So I know something's going to be in the smoke here. So I don't want to get too close there. Probably gonna cut back around. I'm getting my oh, apparently you asked the sit. You were at, asked the same question last stream. Oh, that, that's that's highly highly likely. At least I'm not calling them furloins anymore. I have broken that. Furloins, family. yes. They are four. I, I I too have heard of the furloins incident. Yes, I think most people in the office have heard about the film. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh oh. Can get from the other side here. Alright, let's see if I can borrow their smoke. Nope, I'm down. Oh, that's a shame. We'll ah, in. cutting edge gameplay right there, folks. This is what you come here for. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, at some point with the future, will the fu in the future will the Missouri become available again? Missouri is currently only available through uh, the uh, super containers, guys. Um, I don't know if we have any plans to release it back as free XP or obtainable uh, any other ways at this time, unfortunately. Oh no. Axel, one Axel Zero is onto us, fam. It's not the URL guy. It's an imposter. Are you sure it's not an imposter? In no, it says imposter. Oh, okay. I mean, it should be ex Yita. Well, the gig's up. I get I'm leaving. See ya. <laughs> the gig's up. The gig's up, right? Okay. All right, who is next? We do have Black Nurturer. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna try a CV this time around. All right. Uh, uh, I, I did manage to just pick up the Furious while you were finishing off that game. So I'm gonna give her a little, little, a little bit of a C trial here. Real Where quick. is the Divit? Here, let me switch back to you real quick here. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to pull up the division menu. Oh, here we go. Trying to Although see what they might not be online since they have not answered our request. Remember guys, if you would like to come to Vision with myself and the URL guy, all you need to do is whisper me in-game. My name is written down there. There's too many M's and N's in it, but it's there. Did you play your gearing without a captain? Uh, no, there was a captain. How could I play my gearing without a captain? I, I, oh. To be specific, I have my Dasha commander in here. Ooh, Dasha. I don't know why I did that. Except I didn't put any points. She had no. I hadn't didn't spend any of the points. Oh, okay. So, so, <laughs> so what you're saying is they were right. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I had my the commander in there, and there were no uh, there were no points. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Uh. So are we going to swap out? Yeah, we'll grab someone else. Fantastic. Nurtura. Oh. Uh. NSX2015 is asking to division. Uh. Just in the chat. So let me. Oh. I'd well, now we have fan ha the ham of all hams. The man of the hams. That's the that is the best username I've seen today. Props. Props to the ham man. All right. We can pick up uh, the person who whispered you next game. Fantastic. All okay. right, hams. Uh, what uh, what ships? What tiers are we doing here? I'm gonna right. take out a furious because I just unlocked oh. it, and a few people wanted to see some CV gameplay, so I figured I'd uh, I'd show them what it's all about in my. All right, let's Midnight see. Let me pull furious. out my tier sixes. Oh. Hmm? URL guy. 
So this this ship's called the Furious, and I put the Midnight Camo on it. So it's like Midnight Fury from How to Train a Dragon. Yeah, no, that looks that looks pretty good actually. Uh, the Ham of All Hams is asking if we can do a operation. Uh, we'll stick with randoms for this one at the moment, uh, just because operations takes more people. Yeah. Well, I think if we do operation of the week, we need a minimum of three. Yeah. I don't even know what the operation of the week is. All right. Right now, I'm trying to focus on... All right, what do I have spec'd out currently? Eh, why not? What's the worst that could happen? All right, my only tears... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Duke of Austin again because it's the only thing where I have all the flags and everything prepped. And I did okay last time. No, you, you did decent last time. Little laggy interface. Come on, little interface, you can do it. I believe you can fly. I believe you can unlag yourself. Do you, do you sing often? I know I've heard yeah. the radical song. Yeah, guys. I didn't, I didn't realize you did other you did other songs as well. I think we need I think we need Mr. Ural L guy to do his variation of the radical song. Uh, all right. What's the radical song? You've heard it, but you. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it in passing, but like I didn't memorize your lyrics. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's fine. We'll, we'll save you from that one. Fantastic. She doesn't feel, sing like this very often. Yeah, usually it sounds more like dying cats. You should feel honored. Oh. <laughs> so we are bottom tier here, tier eight games. So we do bottom need to be tier. a little more careful. All right. What, is, what are the chances the URL guy will do karaoke on stream? Oh man, uh, that could be a separate thing. We make it a stretch goal if we do some kind of charity event. Yeah, or I, think, I, think, I think we have a, a plan for some sort of charity event in the future. So maybe oh, we'll we? save it for that. Oh, okay, yes. Save it for that. For whatever hypothetical charity event Whatever we thing do. we might might do in the maybe future. Soon TM. Soon TM. Always soon TM. Alright, so this... How many this... times can you get the reward from the up of the week for five stars? Just the once. Alright, Northern Lights. Uh, let's see where... Where else is headed? to stick around this the end of this big main island mm -hmm. and get crafty with it yes pester with some fire while keeping myself uh kind of covered because duca is fast but fragile goodbye uss montana thanks for chatting in our youtube chat i hope you have enjoyed the stream so far okay Blackburn Suka. Let's go find something to rock it. I am spotted by radio location. Okay. This is the, hang on. The ham of all hams has this is the lyrics to the radical song. I'm, I'd be impressed if you can get them because each time I sing it, it changes. All right. <laughs> go on. Open main menu. You go to controls. All right. Big Torp Energy is also on our team. <laughs> big Torp Energy. It's okay, torpedoes have some big energy at times. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so we do have that Agal in the middle there. The Agly, the Eagle. Yeah, the Agal. I'm, I'm really afraid of, of pronouncing French ship names nowadays after the uh, French community manager kind of berated me on stream about it. Oh no. He sent a voice clip telling me how to pronounce the Alsace, because I kept saying it wrong. One thing that's really nice about the new uh, British CVs is um, slowing down the planes, you can actually get a really clean rotation on mm -hmm. them. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier to maneuver. It makes it considerably more maneuverable. The planes also have significantly more health than their other, uh, the other nation counterparts. So that means that they can, uh, So they can more easily, uh, sorry, they, they actually stay alive longer. Alright, hang on, wait, I have to, 
I had the lyrics of the reticle song provided. Okay. Uh. This will be good. So I'm trying to scroll up in the chat while also not. All right. You open the main. You open the menu. You go to the controls. You select the reticle options. You go not one, not two, not three, not three, not five, not six, not, but seven. There's no rhythmic structure to it, so that's all I have. <laughs> I don't have a lot of rhythmic structure, so that's why there isn't a lot you, of You improvised those lyrics on the fly, didn't you? I I usually try and find a song, and then, yeah, I think of a song, and then I kind of do it to the tune of that particular song and just throw words in where it makes sense. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, there you go. Clip that. I sang the reticle song. You oh. sang a reticle song. <laughs> A reticle song? How many iterations are there? Uh, how many times have I sung it in my life? <laughs> I, I don't know. Is that Quite a rhetorical a few, question? Yeah. Okay. It, it, it was it was meant as rhetorical. Fantastic. Uh, all right, Budini. Bajani. Bajani, yes, that one. That's okay. So I'm gonna skim right up against the island, and the AP is coming. Ah, oh, they missed though. So just too okay. fast. I'm trying with these torpedoes. Oh, yeah, I got two on him. Oh, nice. You basically knocked that mostly out. Perfect. So now you can come in and kill the still? Still the kill? Yes, that is exactly the plan. That is my patented Duque de Osta strategy. <laughs> well, I did put more torpedoes out on him, so if he's unlucky, he'll eat one of those, and then that can be uh, Bob's your uncle, but I don't think I get that. Fantastic. What is the origins of that saying, Bob's your uncle? Uh, I assume someone's uncle was Bob. I mean, yes, and that like that's the literal origin of it. But like, did someone say it once, and then people just started using it, or was it something in like a book or movie? I honestly, I'm not sure. There's a question for you guys. Do you know the origin of Bob's your uncle? And if not, can someone Google it? Because we are curious. Another very distinctive quality about the uh, Royal Navy bombers is that they are carpet bombers, so that. Instead of dipping down, they do, in fact, actually kind of run on, if you will. Oh, hang on. Bless RNG explains, okay. Bob's your uncle, an expression meaning everything will be fine, originated when Arthur Balfour was unexpectedly promoted to Chief Secretary for Ireland by Prime Minister Lord Salisbury in 1900. Right? So it explains the context, but who is Bob one of their uncles? <laughs> but who is Bob? Who is Bob? Find out on the next edition of Naval News Night. Bob is Dark Sethroth. There you go. That's that's the Ooh. big that's the big deep lore reveal of World of Warships. Oh, I got the buddy Yoni. Ham of all hams sent me more lines to the okay. song that are corrected because he typed it wrong the first time, but I sing it sing it once already. It's fine. It's okay. He did he, he did his best musical rendition of the song. So yep. everyone should be giving him the claps and us moving on. So how did you get into what you do nowadays? Uh, Besides so walking into the front door every morning, because I know that's how you get into the office. So initially, like. It started as just writing for writing for the website, uh, and then kind of as I started doing, like I started just doing more goofier stuff. Like as I experimented more, people liked it and got, it got noticed on Reddit, and so that uh, basically earned trust for me to do weirder stuff. So there was the first year of Fish Feed, there was the first ARG, and then that same year we did the first Halloween ARG. What does uh, ARG stand for? Augmented Reality Game. Um, so it's basically the weird scavenger hunts when like random clues show up. We don't like advertise them actively. It is something that just kind of appears and the people that are really paying attention uh, follow it. Uh, and so we actually got a lot of, um, last year we got a lot of participation with it despite it being kind of a hidden thing. Um, and it was, we, we released it globally. So it just started as me being a weird writer and then as I started doing more weird stuff, it made people on the internet laugh, and Wargaming thought I should do more of that, so I started uh, getting more projects like uh, the Naval Nonsense comic, and then now I'm doing a lot of social media stuff. Mm -hmm. What would you say you're most proud of of what you've achieved in that 
like what one element would you say stands out most to you that you're most proud of achieving within your three and a bit years with wargaming? Well, I mean, so for me, naval nonsense, like how that's still going, um, is kind of like, I, for me, it's the achievement I'm most proud of because mm -hmm. it started as something that uh, Pigeon of War asked me to do. He's just like, Anthony, I want to do this comic, and well, you're gonna do it in emails. I'm like, and then I was pretty skeptical about the idea. It's like. Well, Who's gonna read like a weekly web comic just about you know the the game? Because from a writing perspective, you can you know you've only got so many jokes you can mine from the game mechanics, uh, and so like there was so there was the challenge of coming up with you know characters um, and sort of having interactions that are funny by themselves without relying too heavily on game mechanics. And then uh, for inspiration, we also pulled a lot from like uh, community stuff. So, you know, the way that we have the anime stuff and the, the main old captain, Salty McGraw, you know, always, you know, gets a little peeped by that stuff. Like that, that was based on kind of how we were watching the reaction unfold whenever we released new anime content. Would you say the characters within Naval Nonsense kind of reflect the different player style groups that we have within our community? Uh, yeah, more or less. Like, uh, it's not not approximate because we've got like a whole bunch of different play styles. But yeah, the two main characters were kind of written as like, you know, the older experienced character who's set in his ways and then, um, Tater is supposed to be more of like the new guy who maybe has some interest in naval history from his training, but really doesn't get how the game works and how weird it can be sometimes. Uh, and so like, especially with the first run of the strips, he was kind of the point of view character. Um, mm -hmm. So yes and no. Yes, like it kind of represents like, we're trying to capture the vibe of two distinct aspects of our community. But uh, we're like we can't fully capture the entire community with like every character. Yeah, well, kind of like yeah, you kind of see your main kind of subs and sub dialects, and then you know your players who don't like anime being maybe the older saltier carrot carrot that character. Mm -hmm. No, this definitely it's for those who don't know. Where can they find the naval news comic? Uh, so we post naval the nonsense. Sorry. So we post them weekly on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, um, now on Sundays. And then you can find the first, uh, I guess, season of comics on the website still, if you go to the front page and scroll down a bit. And uh, I'm working on starting to get the, a page for all the second season comics. Uh, but I don't do a lot of the website stuff now because I'm doing some social media stuff, so that's taking a little longer than uh, I was hoping for. Okay, how, how about, guys, what is an idea that Mr. URL guy may be able to make out of his naval nonsense comics? What would you like to see the characters do? Don't say more anime, because we've got, like, plenty of anime characters already. So, something, something else. Something else. I would no? maybe, like... Yeah, let, let me hear your let me hear your pitch. My pitch would be I I'd, I'd like to see something where the ship that they the ship that they're on catches a torpedo, mm -hmm. and how damage how damage control really works with patching a torpedo flood. Ah, you know that's good. Like we've already did a gag with uh, how damage control works with fires, and it's basically them standing there waiting for the third fire to go to start before activating it. Particularly uh, since we've recently had the mechanical change. Uh, sorry, the mechanics change with floods. I feel like seeing that that naval nonsense take on it would be kind of funny. Mm -hmm. In his mind, he's like, "That's a terrible idea." <laughs> what? No, uh, no, like it makes sense, especially like coming up with game mechanic rele relevant stuff is always good. Especially because the the game, like the game, you know, is always kind of changing. We're always uh, evolving the game experience, uh, you know, experimenting with new stuff. Uh, so there's no shortage of uh, mechanical stuff to riff on. Uh, you could do a castaway sailor on one of these islands, watching the ships go by, shooting at each other as he's dodging, sh dodging shells, but also trying to signal for help. He's watching the ships when shooting. <laughs> ah, that is that is pre that is pretty funny. And then that leads to the question: Is like who lives on these islands that we're shooting across all the time? It's uh, it's like 
the Hogwarts-esque school on uh, the Sea of Fortune map. Wait, there's a Hogwarts school on the Sea of Fortune? It's Hogwarts-esque. <laughs> it, it, it looks very much like the Hogwarts castle, yes. Oh man, alright. I'm gonna see... Edinburgh's got me. One thing you guys may notice here is while the, uh, while the UK planes are significantly stronger in terms of health pool, they take forever and a day to reload. So think about when and when and when and when not to use radar. When and when not to use radar. You know that that's actually good. Like um, I think there's going to be some radar stuff on social media coming up soon. It's not going to be in the naval nonsense comic, um, but yeah, it's okay. probably a good idea as any. Uh, like one of the challenges is that we're not only doing just like. A joke of the week, but we're trying to have like a um, an ongoing series kind of. Yeah, an and so it has it has line. to yeah, and so it has to work both ways to where like there should be a standalone joke that someone can read it, and you know if they have a passing familiarity with the game, they can laugh at it. But at the same time, for people that are paying attention to the strips week in, week after week, that there is actually kind of an ongoing thing. So like it's all take like. Oftentimes, it's taking all taking place within the same battle. So that means if we start them on a ship, they have to usually stay on that ship um, until like that battle ends. Okay. So it can yeah. So it can be a little challenging because we want to we want to jump around to different mechanics, but then when we're stuck on a certain ship, we're kind of uh, like a ship limited. that doesn't have radar. This guy, this guy, Lee Benson in YouTube. This guy looks like Will Wheaton. I don't, I don't know how to take that, so I'm just going to... I gonna... don't know who Will Wheaton is, so I can't uh, have to save myself he, he, was, he was the kid in Star Trek The Next Generation, and now he's on like Twitter and stuff a lot. Ah, okay. I, now, to his credit, I'm sure he does more than that, but that's, that, that's basically all I know him for. Okay. Well, I like that we're in their cap, but they also have ships in our cap, which I'm desperately trying to reset, but with my dwindling plane supplies, it's not going right. In before, shut up, Wesley jokes. Yeah, I explicitly avoided that because that's like the cheapest possible joke you could make. He's on the Big Band, Big Bang Theory as well. Oh well, I, I haven't watched that, so I wouldn't know that either. Mm. Big it's all the tea times that slow down the planes getting ready. <laughs> tea and crumpets. Gotta go refuel. All right. We're not so you're doing great. So, with the free camera, can I follow your planes, or does it just stick to your carrier? Uh, I believe you can, if you if you point. Oh yeah, Z squadrons. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Oh man, look at this. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. All right. So you you've got your bombers out. What's your, what, what's the plan here? What, what I'm, I'm going for the A because he's actually had the most time on cap, so he's the most likely to have a good reset value to hit. Unfortunately, with essentially three ships all stacked together there, my planes just don't really have the dur durability to survive a whole lot. And hmm. Every time they get knocked out, it, it costs me more and more to get them back in the air, so... Alright. It's a little rough. When do we see subs in games? Subs wear a element for the 2018 Halloween mode. Um, at the moment, we have no confirmed plans of bringing them into the full game as a full feature class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in general with Halloween modes, it's where we go and experiment with weird gameplay ideas. So we had summer, so the first time we did Halloween mode, it was basically experimenting with scenarios. Um, and then with this one, it was about, uh, and then the one after that, it was about experimenting with weather effects and a couple of different things. That's why you had uh, the filth mm -hmm. closing in. And then last year was mostly about experimenting with submarines and battle royale. Yeah, twilight battles. What did you guys Boat think of night. twilight battles? Boat night forever. Boat, Boat night. I, I was the one that named it that. It started out as a joke in the work chat, and then it went too far. Yes. And then next thing you know, we had kind of uh, some uh, official branding for it. But uh, so in terms of submarines, like it's one of those things where 
you know, you use we use Halloween mode as a kind of a testing ground for it, uh, get feedback, and then from there, the devs are still kind of looking at that stuff and basically deciding whether or not they're going to release it, whether or not they need to make changes, so on and so forth. So, uh, basically, we have no idea if it's coming out and when or, or when, because they still haven't even decided if they're going to go through with it. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a decision above our pay grade. It, yeah, exactly. That's really the short version. It's like we don't know, but this is you're here for a stream. You're here for conversation and content. We need to uh, conversation time. Yes. So we've got to engage the viewership here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is a. Uh, it's not going well. I am the team's last hope. Oh no. And I only have one or two planes at a time. Uh, that's always, like, that is always kind of the, um, the moment where I freeze up, where it says, you are our last hope. Um, because unless it's, um, unless it's a Clemson game, then usually I can, uh... You can do a little something? Yeah, I can do, do so a little what, something, something. what you're saying is we need to go play tier four. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. Right now, we've kind of just been playing whatever tier the... Um... Okay, we'll, we'll let you pick the next one. So yeah. Tier four. All right, so whoever's next, prepare your uh, tier favorite tier four vessel. Prepare your Arkansas Bata. Beta, sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying to do a little something, something but there's not, lo there's not a lot left in the tank. Uh, why can't you watch the planes as they come back to the sea view? I don't know, because I think they go up in the air at a certain point. Panic dropping. Yep, that happens. Yep. I got the Uggle in front of me, I got the, the Edinburgh behind me. It's like not a good day to be furious. Oh, I see that destro the, the destroyer's heading your way. Yep. That he is, like I said, stuck between an Uggle and an Edinburgh. Oh man, oh. Oh, you're still alive. Hang in there. Have your planes do plane stuff. What do- <laughs> I have none left though! Oh! Oh man. Oh, there we go. You're- I, I have one. All right, go for the ram. That's all you gotta do. Ram You speed. are the torpedo. 10 seconds. Can I last the 10 seconds? Yes. Well, at least I didn't die. I didn't die in my first Furious game. Didn't play particularly great either, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Godless Stone it. Jeez, there's only seven of them against you. Why haven't you won? Didn't carry hard enough. Guess not. I guess not. Okay. Tier 4. We're getting into Mr. the URL guy's comfortable spot. Ah, uh, yeah. It's Clemson time. Thank you, Ham of Hands, for uh, divisioning with us. I will pick up the next person. Here we go. Let's go, miniature atomizer. Don't tier four. Hmm. What can I play really badly? So you're great at lower tiers. I'm horrendous at them. I mean, great is uh, is putting it a little strongly. Oh, oh. It is. I tend to have more fun. I tend to do more things. Okay. Okay. Instead of miss. Instead of missing. Uh, Rebel Star, when will you bring a nuclear ships? Um, at the moment, the game is very much staged between uh, pre-World War One to post-World War Two. We're really, really looking at ships that kind of fit that category. You have to be careful about balance concerns as well, aka a nuclear ship going against a Dreadnought. Yeah. Yeah. If you could have any ship in the game, what would it look like? Any sh wait, so any ship like historically, or you said what would it, what would it look like? Uh, if you could create your dream ship, describe it to me. Uh, I guess it would be Clemson with Leningrad speed. Ew. Ew. It's the best I got. Ew. Take care, Tony. Thanks for stopping by. August Green, thank you for playing with us. I hope you had fun. Okay, well, we're, we're at least kind of in a safe spot with Tier 5, Tier 4. Fantastic. Yeah. Next minute, your L guy detonates. No dead flags. All right, no, no, it's Solomon Islands. All right, I know this map I know. All right. 
Uh, so I am probably going to head up 8-9 and kind of try and hang out at that lip, because mm -hmm. that's usually where a bunch of destroyers come around the corner. You can just, like, Hopefully. get them right, yeah, get them right there. Uh, but they do have... It is two double CVs. They, yeah, they do have two, her they do have double Hermes, so I might have to be more cautious and uh, bank around instead. Picture this, Langley with the speed of a DD. Ah, ah. Yeah, can you imagine a Langley going like, like, literally speed, so 52 knots? <laughs> uh, you wouldn't need, you'd, need a, you'd need to launch the planes in reverse. That'd be hilarious. We need to have like a April Fool's or Halloween game mode where we just do that. It's basically all the same ships, except you give them ludicrous speeds. And you just... See... Your idea and my idea of a funny Halloween, as uh, Halloween prank, as a funny April Fool's prank is, mm -hmm. is very interesting. Cause my, I, I tried pitching this to Radar X. I was like, what we should do is we should get rid of everyone's ships just for the day. <laughs> just make everyone start again, just for one day. Don't say anything. I mean- well, That ought to rename the entire player base to rename player. I, I, w I wouldn't joke too much about that. Cause we've tried to do some in-game uh, gags in years past. Um, we tried to have- we put a submarine in port. I do remember that. It broke a lot of ports. The su yes, the submarine incident of 2017, I want to say. 17, yeah, 17. Uh, and so, and, you know, we thought it'd be funny. and It's just, you know, it doesn't do anything. But then there were some technical, There's technical big issues. Technical blitz. What about the, uh, the thousand polygon, or sorry, the hundred thousand polygon duck? I've heard legends of that. Yes. yes. Guys, if you have not heard about the legend of the 100,000 polygon duck, on a certain map we hid a duck made of 100,000 polygons to the point where if you were to look at it on the map, you'd lag out pretty much. Defended. All right. Yeah, I'm capturing this. Or attempting to, I should say. All right, so C is pretty crowded. Yeah. I'm, pro I'm not going to try and uh, no, wage a, a, a dump, one-man defense. There. I mean, I could. But it won't end well for me. And, you know, we kind of want to do well in the game. That, that usually is the goal. That's so I've heard. Like, I heard that people like winning at World of Warships. Kreml, but armed front to back with Atlanta guns. Woohoohoohoo! What are you guys thinking of the Russian battleships so far? Have you watched any CCs or... Well, yeah, any CCs playing them? I was like, who else could they be watching? Uh, the... So the, the bow tanking bit seems exciting, but other than that, I haven't followed it too closely, mm. so I can't comment in depth about all of their um, specs and jazz. Yeah. Mostly because like it changes a lot, like between testing and feedback. That is so, true. So, like, from experience, if I try and write something early, um, they'll change it, and then I have to go and redo the work. And again then you anyway. have to go do your work again. Exactly. So. Uh, I'm what you might call efficient, and I just want to do do it once. Yeah, I can understand that. I just all right. Sam so fighting Phoenix. No, ah, everything's shooting at me at once. I have regrets. Yeah, I'm being torpedoed by a CV. Oh, but the Phoenix is down. I just dodge that one. Didn't dodge that one. I'm dead. Aha, here's the ice closet. See, see oh. what, I, what I said about uh, playing low tiers for me? I mean, I'm one to talk. I was t I was bragging here earlier, like, oh man, yeah, Clemson, Clemson, Clemson-ness. And then here I am uh, at 1,200 health. I just dodged that torpedo. Let me switch over. Case in point, this is the situation I'm in right now, folks. This is why when you said earlier about, oh yeah, are you good down here? It's like, no, no. I just, Clemson is fun to play. <laughs> well, I mean, we're watching you. Press is on. All right. Press is on. We got to carry hard at 1200. Smitty says they burn rather easily and their sit armor from the sides is weak. They could actually leave it as is and it would, would be... It would be as bad as some of the other new releases in regards to the Russian battle. Well, we can leave it as is. All right, tell leave the devs. We'll release it. I, am I hearing that that is no <laughs> Russian bias? <laughs> Those two words make me uh, ever so salty. Oh, man. Oh, that's our teammate. Wow. No, I shot him. pink. 
Oh yeah, I did shoot him out. Yep. It's okay, I was pink recently on stream too. They never let me move it down. Hey, Pixel Props, good to see you. How are you? Oh, be careful, you're about to turn into torpedoes. Yep. Oh, I think you can overturn the match. Exactly. Exactly. I've calculated oh, this out. Calculated. Doing, doing the advanced brain maths. I totally knew that I would be able to dodge those. I did not get lucky. Good job. All right, Phoenix is popping out. All skill, no luck. Exactly. I'm going to do this one early in case it slows. You are, you are allowed to stop in the smoke as well. Eh, that just makes you a sitting duck. I don't like that. I, okay. I, mean, I know that's a common thing, but it's never sat well with me. I would rather always keep moving. Just keep moving, just keep moving. Da -da 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 yeah, 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 that. Okay. Yeah, see, look. It's trying to turn... I think you're up two more racks of torpedoes on the outside. Ah, uh, no. Nah. It's down by gunfire anyway. Oop. Oh no, you're caught! Well. Alright. Skim, skim, skim. Alright. You lost half your health just to, just to ram it in there. Oh yeah, I was down pretty low, huh? Oh, got me. Oh, got oh. all of that and then... Well... You got you got CV'd. That's how warships works. <laughs> how does it feel to have a work and play games? Wait, how does it feel to have a work and play games you help shape? I uh, you know, so it's please kind of interpret in as you will. <laughs> so it is interesting to like because especially because I actually have like in-game content based on. Am I, is it still on my screen? It is still on your screen. All right, cool. So we can actually maybe not. No, it's on mine. What did, okay, so let me... No, it's on my screen. Oh, sweet. Let me, uh, do you have any of the uh, ARG scavenger hunt flags? I think I do. Can show those off. Yeah. So it's cool, like, I go home and when I go home and play the game on occasion. Most of the time I don't, just because, you know, we play it at work a lot, and so on the weekends... It's, you, it's nice to do something else. Yeah, sometimes you got to take a break. But every once in a while, you know, I'll be home and I'll pull up, uh, I'll drop in for a Clemson game. And then, uh, you know, I'll see like a flag or something that, you know, I created and it's there in the game. And uh, yeah, it makes does make me feel this a little one, warm right? and fuzzy. Message? Uh, yeah, so there's message.png, um, which that one was cool because like it had the cool code on it and they uh, it was the fl it's the flag that you also see on the Halloween mode ships mm -hmm. but I don't see you think you have it but it was the yeah you do that one yes the first flag the legend the uh, the very first ARG flag where we didn't really I didn't announce anything I just kind of did it on my own um, and then suddenly people followed these clues and they started following them and then at the end all they got was a stupid flag <laughs> So what's that? You you trolled our player base? Uh, trolling's a little strong, but yes. <laughs> so yes, he did troll the player base. Okay, tier seven. All right, tier seven. Let's do this. Let's do it. When is the Alaska's release date? It's already been released, guys. <laughs> when is the Alaska's release date? They're doing that because they know, they know I hate that question. Um, I would guess at the moment, guys, is... I'm probably full up of players to play with us now. Uh, there will be more opportunities in the future. Going back to the Leningrad, going back to your roots. Is there any more uh, ARG stuff for both useless and useful rewards? Uh, useful rewards? Probably not. Like the whole the whole reason ARGs kind of got started off the ground was kind of just saying, hey, look, we don't have to give anything away that's like super, um, you know, it's valuable. We can just give them like a little flag or something small at the end. And then that, but it's more of the journey that they're into, not the destination. Yeah, so that's, it was, so it's kind of like that, that very popular shooter game where, you know, doing a whole load of different stuff got you a, got you a bow and arrow weapon, but the bow and we arrow weapon actually was really hard to use. Yes. If you know the game I'm referring to. I don't, um, but I'm just going to say yes, because I understand the concept you're explaining. Uh, but in, um, So useful items, probably not, but um, like weird cosmetic stuff or just like cool... Just to have? Yeah, cool stuff just to have. 
Definitely. For sure. All right, so we are here on New Dawn. Uh, standard battles. Next up, hey URL, say hello to Tina from development team for me. Move over Dash and uh, Aliona. Say hello to Tina for me. Oh, they saw the Dev Diaries Dino, uh, video with Tina. I mean, yeah, I'll say hi to her next time I'm in... What office was that? The St. Pete's? Yeah, St. Pete's. That's yeah. where I'm going to be in two weeks' time. Yeah. See, that's the other great thing about just being content, is I don't have to, I don't have to take the trips. I can kind of just... Chill, make you my had, You had a content trip last year, I thought. No, nah, they came to us. Oh, oh yeah, they did, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Forgot about that. If you would have been more higher up, what would you try to have changed or made at Wargaming? Man, that's tough. I can understand if you're not able to answer this due to your jobs. Well, like, a lot of it is internal technical stuff that would be really like, boring for a gaming stream. Like, organization. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, Where let's. Do things go? No, I'm gonna. Yes, no. Welcome to the wor of world of warships Twitch. I, URL guy, am gonna whine about confluence in Jira for you know 20 minutes. That's, My name is oh. Devin Enley, and I can't find the picture that I know exists, but I don't know where to get it from. Exactly. Like, <laughs> uh, so. But in terms of the more kind of fun stuff, um, I would definitely try and have more. Um, in like in-game support for content because right now lots of it is just on the website or on social media and the majority of people who play our game like don't go to those on a regular basis uh and so we want to reach more people we want you know to not just make this a game but make this a community mm -hmm. um and it would be easier if that stuff was more accessible directly from the game itself there you go, that's my short answer regarding the change. Only 20 minutes for Jira? I'm disappointed you can only find 20 minutes of stuff to complain about. <laughs> my number right. one complaint would be like, hey, I'm looking for something. Oh, but it's uh, the way to find it is going to be using the Russian name for it. Yes. <laughs> that's always a fun one. I'm looking for a picture of the Shan horse, but to find that picture, I need to go find the Russian name of the Shan horse first. Yes. So for a lot of some of the Ala for some of the Alaska art, like internally it was spelt with a y yeah and so i kept on missing it and i thought oh this must be aliska that may oh this is um an article for aliska probably some like russian ship i've never mm. heard of i just kind of scrolled past it when i was looking for alaska stuff and then finally when i checked back it was in fact the art for alaska see i've worked out how to get around this though okay go on but i don't know if my 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 workaround is going to work for you okay what is it my workaround is i go to you and be like hey do you know where I can get this pitch? <laughs> yes. So that that's actually a big part of my role here is when I'm not working on projects, I also know where to find the stuff. So kind of like He's art. the CDS of the art department. Yeah, yeah, sure. You never quite know where it is, but if you ask, you'll find it. Yeah, exactly. So it's, you know, art, it's art stuff and just figuring out where to get all that and making sure it's the right size for... Uh, various channels. Grapple Stone asks, asks, when is the Aliska being released? Ah, the Aliska, my friend. That is Shh. being released. Oh, we just broke NDA. They should oh, have no. known about the NDA. They, they weren't meant to know about the Aliska yet. No, the Russian biased strike force is coming for us. I hear them up in the roofs. <laughs> the Russian Russian version of the Aliska, the Aliska. Yes. We have a lot of fun in our office. What would you say the best thing about working for Wargaming is? Uh, I think it's like, so this is my first gaming industry gig, and so, like, coming from other industries and stuff, and just the ca the casual fun tone uh, compared to elsewhere, like, is a, is a huge cultural change, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's, for the most part, for the better. Uh, and so, everyone, we're all kind of gathered around, we're a bunch of weird nerds, and we're all united by our shared interest in this same shooty boat game. Yeah, and job skills, I guess. I mean, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Don't 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 oversell it. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh man, I said it to him, but but our dev mate took the kill. Wargaming uh, office Ooh. was covered in Novichok. I don't know what that is. Uh, what of warships? Is there a specific date when the Jean Bart and Lascaux would be removed from, removed from the premium store? 
Um, I believe the Alaska has, I think, 22 days-ish left. Um, I don't know about the jean Bart off the top of my head. I thought that was honestly already out. Well, so we, we had a re-release. Yes. And then I thought it was still in the premium shop. Um, I could well be wrong at this point. Yeah. So don't quote, don't quote us on that. Don't quote us on that. We have no idea what we're talking about. I, I know the Alaska is 22 days. Yes. Alaska is still in the shop. It's just up there. What I would say is take a look at the premium store uh, article. Uh, that usually gives you details of when ships or how long ships will be in there. I've just dropped it. Uh, drop the link in chat for you guys uh, for quick reference. If oh you're man, that's is that what the buttons do? Yeah, that's okay. what the buttons do. See, they they all have different labels. Yeah, no, I saw the little script like because I come in here for for doing uh, footage capture sometimes, and I see like some of like the weird streaming stuff because I don't know anything about streaming, mm -hmm. uh, and so like she's uh, she's got like this little pad of buttons, and they all have little baby screens on them, and they can be customized, and they all do different things. Uh, Ben, you're doing a great job in this interview room. I learned a lot. Keep up the good work. Well, guys, if you have any questions you would like uh, Mr. URL to answer, please don't hesitate to ask them. Just make sure you tag World of Warships in them. That way they turn up white on our screen so we can see them a little easier. Yep. And now would be a great time because I was dev struck. Um, and so I he, kind He's of got just... time to burn at the Exactly. Moment. Um, is that also for the XP release of the Alaska? Oof. I don't. I believe the XP version of the Alaska will be around for a, a while. Usually, we do give you guys at least a patch or two update before we remove free XP coal ships and steel ships. So you guys have time on that. And has he ever owned a wife? Hmm. Nope. I'm not. I was about to say. I'm not sure. I want to know the answer to that one. Personally. Oh no no no! Anime was a mistake. Okay. Just that that that's my stance on the issue. Okay. Uh, last two jobs. Mostly it's been uh, like kind of um, write, writing gigs in miscellaneous fields to, to just keep it broad. Uh, and so like that when I applied for the position here, like I basically had this kind of portfolio of uh, writing. I write good. Uh, good, good selling it, but you know, I could, I could meet deadlines and I could format things correctly. Uh, and that, that, that was really what they were looking for. Um, Sam, there's two Le Terribles in the premium shop for two different prices. One might be a rental. I'm not sure if the rental is still out there. Um, or it could be a different package. We can have a look afterwards and check with the monetization guy. The money man. Uh, ooh, worst thing and best thing I created. So, the worst thing I probably created were, um, it was an ongoing series. It was those, uh, do you guys remember? Some of you who've been around on the port on the website long enough remember when there were the community scoop articles. Um, basically, like those were just we were gathering a bunch of things from the forums and trying to find like funny stuff. Um, and like that felt that that felt honestly that felt forced a lot of the time. Um, and the numbers for it weren't too hot. I kept on asking, begging. It's like, look, we don't have to do these. Like, the numbers don't so justify us doing them. Please end my suffering. But they're like, oh no, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta keep, you know, ship awareness, awareness of the new premium or all of that. Uh, and finally, like, after a year of doing those, I was able to kind of do a bigger thing of the numbers and goes, look, nobody, nobody's go looking nobody at these. Nobody cares about you, Karen. Well, I mean, it's like, that type of community content is good for social media to be, like, shared by players. But if you just kind of have, like, an article on the website, you're not gonna, um, you're not gonna get a lot of uh, people clicking. Like, we've done surveys for the past couple of years, and a lot of the people who come to the website are kind of more of the straight-to-business, just tell me what's being updated, what new ships are, mm -hmm. and then all the other stuff, like, no matter how funny my stuff might be, like, that's that's all just secondary to, you know, just the cold, hard facts and stuff. I'm desperately trying not to die. Huh, well, I don't I'm, have to I'm not feeling good about it. I don't have to worry about that. What happened to the Bad Advice cartoon videos with the little captain and his fish? Uh, so we still do Bad Advice uh, videos once in a while. Like we did the naval, we're, we're doing the naval traditions ones still. Um, 
and uh, and so we still use the Captain and Fish characters. Uh, it's just like I th the the animation team that comes up with the videos for Captain Bad Advice, uh, I like, was working like was kind of just kind of trying to come up with different ideas to use the characters because they put in a lot of work to like am animating everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you'll you'll see them more. I just don't. I have no idea if they're doing like the actual bad advice cartoons. They're still using the characters, just not that same series. Well, thank you for the game there, Mr. Green Man. Let's pick up, the, sorry, the guy named Green. We'll grab our next person. Probably have time for two more games. Hopefully. Oh, oh this person's offline. My face is slow again. Will the Alaska stay available for uh, 1 million free XP? For the foreseeable future, um, if we do decide to remove her from uh, being available for free XP or anything along those lines, we will give you guys plenty of notice, as we did with the Kronstad, as we did with Musashi, to get your hands on her before uh, we remove her again. But since you guys were so adamant about that particular ship and getting her out there, um, I don't think we have plans to remove her anytime soon. Do we get any more weather effects? Weather effects are pretty cool. Uh, we only released the storm, I think it was a few patches ago. So I don't necessarily think we're gonna be doing that one again soon. Uh, sorry, um, I don't know if we have another one coming as soon. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll keep an, uh, keep an eye out, check out the dev blog guys. It's always a great place to find information on what's coming new to the game that's usually the first place it's ever released ever announced is in the dev blog yeah we're neither of us are developers so we're probably the worst people you could possibly ask about um upcoming ch high level changes to the game yeah uh the ghost rider 03 what plans do you have to correct ui freezes and game crashes before any new content um we are definitely working on the ui and the game stability itself um, one thing is it is, since it is kind of an already built platform, is to change one thing, there are a lot of little things that need to be changed. Um, but we are in the process of working on that optimization. We did do a small optimization uh, with 8.1, and we want to continue that going forward. You'll see the ports become faster and faster. We're also moving to a full 64-bit client soon, so that will also help as well. URL guy, did you use to do the post clan battle season articles? Uh, post clan battle season, um, like kind of the infographics. Uh, that that was kind of more of a global level thing. Like uh, for I think clan battles, I would do some of more of the fun stuff kind of in between when we did that. But to my knowledge, that doesn't ring any bells. Now I've done a lot over the past couple of years, so it could be something I did and then subsequently forgot about. That That does tend to happen. <laughs> um, World of Warships, sorry to say, but is Wargaming really making any commercials for World of Warships? I never, I've never seen any, only from World of Tanks, and that was in my mind a total no-no. Um, I do believe we do have some, um, some ad content on certain networks at certain times, but the specific details of that, I wouldn't have the information to share because I simply don't. Yeah, that's more of a marketing guy. That's a, that's question. a market. That's a marketing problem, not a community. There you go. Problem. No, there's your, there's your uh, there's a pitch for a next guest. Is grab one of the marketing folks and get yeah, them in maybe. Here, and they'll tell you all about the wonderful world of weird marketing stuff. I've helped out with them on a little bit for like some writing stuff. Uh, Max, the last post on the Medium website was February twenty first, and today on versus today on Facebook. Well, is that by design? They only use Medium when it is a very, very long uh, dev blog where it's not uh, it's not possible to get it on to Facebook. That's when they use Medium. Where do you get your uh, your inspiration for URLs? They're always so amazing. Whew. All right. So it's pretty. It's mostly unimaginative. It's I try to come up with some sort of. Um, pop culture reference that I can make to a pun that is that has to do with the article. That, that's basically it. I, it is the Seth MacFarlane method of uh, developing developing jokes and humor. Just keep throwing more jokes on the wall until one of them is like, hey, that one's funny. Yeah, and just, you know, referencing pop culture things. 
It would be cool if I had some deep method. And maybe one day I'll write down some method that I can tell people. Methodology of being funny. Yes. <laughs> method Methodology of meme making. Of course. But, I mean, URL did just bring up an interesting point about maybe bringing some of the marketing guys on. What sort of special guests would you like to see on the official World of Warships streams as uh, as as guests? I mean, we are somewhat limited, like, obviously asking for EU guys or EU CCs isn't gonna happen, let's be realistic. But uh, who would you like to see? Who would you maybe like to hear talk to us uh, on these streams? Let me know, I'm curious. Says not EU guys. First two things, EU guys. <laughs> okay, I understand you guys like EU, but we are NA. <laughs> Claus Kellerman? He's predominant tanks, though, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll bring him. That, that'll be more fun. We just take him. He's If he hasn't played the game before, we just shove him on here and go, You are going to play the game, Mr. Kellerman. <laughs> well, he's played it a little bit. Okay. That's not as funny, then. Ooh! Well done, Mikey M. Getting that first blood with the torpedoes with his Exeter. I've already, I've already kind of treated some of those cruisers over there towards some uh, citadels. Aha! Uh, I'm playing. I'm playing the Texas because I was on the Texas this past weekend. Beautiful ship. I'm going to be going back there again at some point. Oh, I spoke to the this Exeter is down. Okay, I'm like, why is it in the water? Duh. Getting in here. Ignore me. <laughs> All right, it's time for some knife fighting. Why not bring someone from World of Tanks that actually plays World of Ships to see how he compares to someone in the status of uh, same status as Cookie Baby or a potato in both wargaming games? Um. Oh. I can't think of like anyone. I'm. This is gonna. This like, is the end of me. Oh here. no. Hang on, hang on. Wait, one last. Nope, As I thought I was go gonna go get one last away. torpedo drop in, but uh. Um, whatever. We will still be friends forever. Okay. As our lives change. And torpedoes. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, that's what? that's what they mean by parody. I gotcha. Uh, Bring Mijesh on stream. Mijesh lives in Michigan. We're in Austin. Yeah, it's location, that's, that's, location, it's location, location. So let's rephrase this. Who would you like to see on stream that is easily accessible, either immediately in the Austin office mm. or within the within the greater Austin area? Mm. I know that's not as uh, glamorous as a question, but uh, it's, it's... I mean, we can always do, like, call-ins from, from CCs from, you know, other locations. That's definitely more possible, but still, uh, the EU ones are very hard due to the time of the day we do the streams, for example. No one likes staying up late at night. I know I don't. I, I'm all about going to bed at an early time nowadays. I'm like, sleep sounds great right now. Not sir. Where's where's not sir based out? Not sir's Houston. So that one's more possible. That one's more possible. We could have uh, island crashing parties together. <laughs> that brings up so many ideas. Island talks with Notster. <laughs> it's a viable strategy. I mean, it, it sudden stops. It definitely works in some situations. What is not working for me right now is this mermaid rushing me. Oh man, look, yeah, <laughs> they're coming towards you. <laughs> and of course, he's being smart and not giving me his side. Now he's trying to torpedo me. I think I might die here. Yeah. Uh, Flamu, Sir Venom, family for a change. Oh yeah, I know, right? They, the stream definitely needs more me. Well, yeah, no, I heard I heard about this femininely. Eh, she's, she's okay. I thought she had pink hair, but my hair is definitely purple. Aha. Uh Haha. -huh. Uh -huh. Well, no, so there's two, there's two, alter, there's a, an alter ego. Yeah. There's femininely, then there's venominely. Venominely. 
which is what you transform into when you are cranky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this will be our last game for the day, guys. If you have any final questions, comments, concerns, or statements to make to Mr. The URL Guy. This is it. This is your time. I don't think he'll ever let me get him back on stream again, so... Chieftain, when you release submarines? Chieftain's possible, because Chieftain, Chieftain's down in Houston as well. Have tragic loss and talk about her work at, at tanks. We're, we're not going to talk tanks on a warship stream. Like, I'm sorry, that one's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know, maybe uh, maybe she can play a tog and, like, drive it into the water. <laughs> I heard that works. Oh, I don't, I don't know if Kai's still here. Oh, yeah. Kai, go ahead and pick whatever tier you would like. We will copy you for our last game today. I'm going to collect my contain containers. What are two things that your old guy doesn't want to admit on stream? If I, don't, I, admit, I don't know how he's going to... If I out. admitted them on stream, then there would be things I would want to admit on stream. That seems like a weirdly phrased question. Tier 6, the Farragut. Going back to tier six, I think I'm gonna go for redemption round in my perf. I will say, like, uh. Mac Tub, if you're looking for, like, juicy, like, the kind of juicy, embarrassing bits, I know I talked to Mac on anime earlier, but I do actually like anime quite a bit. Um, it is just my sometimes resentful tone comes from a place of love and appreciation and sometimes sadness. So there you go. There's your uh, there's your juicy bit. What are things you don't want to omit on stream? Omit or is it admit? Omit. He's changed his mind. You'd want to admit on stream. What are two things you want to say to the stream? Oh, two things. I, um... I, I've got one thing I want to say to you. All right. Ready up. Right. What are we? We're in <laughs> six. Oh man, hang on. Do I have a, a Commonwealth commander ready? We can do a Perth division. Let's do it. Can you fix the batting system? <sighs> Man, I don't know why I'm so yawny today. Uh, the Shining Gaming, can you, Shiny Gaming, can you, like, when you make blank statements like that, it usually helps us if you say what you feel is wrong with it. So. I don't like the batting system because of this. Can you fix it? If, you, if it's, I don't like the batting system because I'm banned, there's probably a good reason you got banned. Yeah. So, Maktub, are you secretly an anime cosplayer? So, good. So, bad news first is no, I'm not an anime cosplayer, but. I used to be when I was in high school. But hey, if you, like, if you into the same theme of uh, embarrassing costume stuff, I do LARP. So there you go. There's there's your other. That explains uh, a lot. It does, doesn't it? That explains a lot of your clothing. Ah. There you go. Yeah. Triple perf division. Oh wow, we're all tier six. Yep. Power wow. up. Power of the perths unite. Uh, are you going to visit the USS Massachusetts for PAX East? Uh, the Ghost Rider, probably not during PAX East as we have plans for the PAX East event itself, including a happy hour during there. Um, Radar X and BTED72 were recently up at the Massachusetts for Battle Cove, uh, no, Battleship Cove Day. Naval, Naval, Naval Games Day. Yeah, Naval Gaming Day at Battleship Cove. So it's already been a long month and I'm like, hold on. <laughs> uh, they were recently up there and we, might, might have plans to go uh, back to the Massachusetts later in the year as well. Are there any other chance for other rare ships to come back, such as Iwaki, uh, Iwaki, Arkansas, non-beta alpha versions for us ship collectors? Um, possible, yes. Probable, no. That's the great thing is we can always say maybe that will happen because we actually have no idea. Yeah, I mean, um, they were meant to be... Uh, you know, special ships for those who did play during the alpha and beta sessions. Um, so, like, the uh, the Iwaki alpha and the Arkansas beta itself will never become available again. Um, but whether clones of them in separate modes, you know, without the beta and alpha tag come out, 
Maybe. Oh man, look at this. Planes all around us. It's okay, we're Perth. We are my home country. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, the Perth is an Australian ship. What does work-life balance look like when you work for a game company if you're if you like playing it too much? What would you say your work life is like? Uh so it kind of has uh ups and downs. Um usually when we have a whole bunch of like events and stuff, the work life balance can be a little rough. Yeah. But non existent. The great uh the great thing about content is that a lot of it is writing based. And so I'm laptop based and so I can, you know, do work from home stuff if I need to. Um, usually I don't, pr I prefer not to because there's always like a reason to have like meetings, um, plus... It's also good for like team dynamics to, for people to be in the office. Well, there's the, yeah, there's that general work culture, psychological, whatever. Yeah, that, that stuff's fine too. But, uh, yeah. Keeping work at work and home at home. So exactly. Sometimes. Yeah, that too. Um, and so usually I'll do, um, but going back to my first point, it's kind of an on and off thing where... Like, we'll have some weeks where it's just really hectic because we're doing a lot of prep for, like, a big big sales, big events, or, like, a major update's dropping. And then there'll be, like, a lot of quiet periods where there isn't a whole bunch going on. And that's usually the period where we can, like, sort of uh, plan ahead um, and then also kind of uh, ooh, take a breath and yeah. uh, relax a bit. I would definitely say that's the case with working for video games. I mean, we'll get with my first side work for two, but uh, even when I used to self-manage my stream is that um, it's kind of swings on roundabouts. You're going to have some really, really busy periods. Like, for example, for the community team, March and April are filled with a lot of different events. You know, we've got conventions, we have Summit, uh, we've got King of the Sea, we've got Masquerados. Uh, pretty much every weekend we have something. Uh, pretty much the same for April. But then come May, it's probably going to be a quieter month and that's going to be a little bit easier on us. At the moment, like, I'll leave work and I'll go home and do more work because with managing masquerados, um, they, it just needs a, a little bit more time and a little more attention to make sure it runs smoothly. But, yeah. You know, we do it because we love the game and we love the community that we have. You know, we want to be supportive of it. So their team is actually pushing our base. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Wow, man. Aggro. Yeah, don't forget, you can roll around your smoke if you're going quarter speed. Yeah, it's all right. Quarter speeds. Yeah, like quarter, quarter speed will let you roll around in your smoke and stay undetected. Yeah, now I'm remembering Perth now. Perth smoke is good smoke. Uh, when will NA get a store? We used to have a merch store, however, we weren't happy with our old contract that we were having our store under, so at the moment, we're currently looking for a new vendor to host us a merchandise store for you guys. Um, it is definitely on the cards, it's just a case of getting it, like, all our ducks in a row, if you will. We're our, all our shells in a stack. I just said that in all chat. Hang on. I apologize for bumping into someone. Oops. <laughs> My bad, I killed you. Hydro up because I do know there's a DD quite close to me. I'm focusing on the war spite at the moment. But yeah, yeah, I'm kind of trying to pester that too because it's uh, it's whittling down a little mm -hmm. bit. Focus fire. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the red ship sink. Yes, that too. <laughs> Which is the dream, so the statement still stands. Yep. Definitely works. Little trolley, little perth division here. If your smoke is almost out, you can stay going quarter speed and, and use mine still. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. Nice. Oh, hang on, here's the... You need to turn around, though. <laughs> is there a... Yes, there is. I do have my hydro up for torpedoes, too. Fantastic. Okay, there's this Monahan. One of your characters in Naval Nonsense is called Monahan, aren't they? Well, yeah, so the idea with that was... Well, at first we just wanted to do a one-off uh, anime gag. Mm -hmm. because, um, and so we needed to pick a ship that didn't already have a actual ship girl ah. in another, um, in, you know, in other ship girl games and stuff. Because we didn't want to, um, you know, cross any streams or uh, step on anyone's toes. Yeah. So we just found, and so Monahan at the time didn't have any ship girl in any other, like, game or anything. She was, she was free game. Exactly. And so we just told the art team, hey, quick, draw us, like, a... Draw us an anime girl just for like this one-off gag. 
But then, like, that comic exploded, and it generated all this demand for, you know, more anime ship girls, and so we had to kind of develop more anime ship girl characters and give them more of a recurring role. Much to the chagrin of some of the uh, social media commenters. <laughs> okay. Well, we're getting into that cap now. Yep. We're capping him. We're capping him, Cap! Desperately trying to get this war spike back on fire. The one that we were originally whittling down. That yep. I think we're going to have to turn my attention to Bayer pretty soon. Yeah. It's be a threat to us. It's a little bit of a cheeky division, I will say. <laughs> Free rolling smoke ships. Oh man, those torps just ate those torps. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm firing on your ship, girl. No! Yes, Richard Longfoot. We don't want to be reset. There we go. Bayern's out. Good, good, good job. Okay, now we can all shoot with the ship belt. What a hand! <laughs> I want to reset you guys, but there's a lot of you guys and only one of me. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what is... Oh, what's the distance on Perth Torpedoes? That uh, is eight. eight. All right. That's manageable. I'm going to drop some behind that island as a precaution. And we'll see... Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 yep, whoa. Yeah, Pensacola right in front of me. Whoa. Nope, I'm out. That just... Those came out of nowhere. Richard Footlong just got me with a volley. Got Woo! you with a volley of uh, Footlong torpedoes? Yes, those $5 Footlongs. <laughs> well, guys, this is your last chance. If you have anything left to say to Mr. URL Guy, make sure you throw it in chat now, because this is going to be our last game for the day. Because we have, well, I have cats to get home to. Oh wow, our team is actually disintegrated again. Somehow. Potato? What ship would you like to see come into the game? Just one favorite ship from history or just from the era in general? Um, I think I, I made a joke about it early on in the um, early on in the stream. Um, USS William DePorter. Uh, just cause just because of the hilarious history. That was one of the posts I wrote about wrote about it last year. Um, so that was a lot of fun to write about and research. Uh, and so just seeing that ship in game would be hilarious, especially if we put some kind of funny Easter egg on the model somewhere. Um, like, that, that would be a blast to have in game. How did you hear of the job and what was your first task when you got the job? Believe it or not, um, this was back when it was the Emeryville office. And the, I don't believe it! The people post- well, not that's not the believe it or not part, but the, uh, the recruiting team actually posted on Craigslist. Huh. So I was just looking on Craigslist just for um, writing gigs between full-time jobs, and they're like, oh, here's a content position. I'm like, what? what is content? I look, it's like, oh, yeah, it's, it's Wargaming. They, um, it's, you know, they do World of Tanks, and then that other game with the ships that, you know, I've played maybe once. Uh, so, um, yeah, so this looks pretty cool. Uh, what, and so I just applied uh, kind of just for the heck of it to see what they had the offer. And then, you know, several interviews later, they, they offered me the position. Um, and my first task when I got the job, uh, so when I started, like, I wasn't on World of Warships. Uh, like, back in the day, uh, if you were working content, you were basically kind of a mercenary within the company, for lack of a better word. And so you were kind of helping out on all the different products. So I was actually writing a bit, some stuff for World of Tanks. I was writing some stuff for Tank Splits and like helping out managing scheduling and stuff for a couple of the different products. Uh, but then after, after a while, I was getting asked to do um, World of Warship stuff more and more um, until it kind of became a permanent thing, basically. Well, the bad news is we're not going to win this because they are going to cap us out. No! Yes. Steel Eye posts several eye things. I don't, I don't understand 
I don't understand Twitch people and their uh, love of just posting a bunch of emotes. It's a Twitch thing. I know it's a Twitch thing. That's kind of like when I start looking into Twitch stuff. Like I have some friends who Twitch stream as well, and like that's where I start feeling like this old fossil of a human being. Aww. Cause it's like I don't understand what people are into on here anymore. Us Twitch people can never be easily understood. Sweet. Okay. I don't feel as bad then. <laughs> Well, that does bring us to the end of our day at this point. Guys, uh, unfortunately, I mean, winning wasn't necessarily our strong suit, but you know what was? Having fun and the power of friendship. They didn't- Oh, they can't- They can't see it, because- So okay. that was a fist bump, but okay, because of the went camera like setup. Off camera. Yes. Well, thank you everyone who has played for us today. Do you have any closing off words? Uh, remember to always do what you love and follow your dreams. You might not accomplish those dreams, but you might end up at a video game company doing weird stuff. I like it, I like it. Okay guys, we will see you on Fridays for the release of Masquerados, the bounty event on the North American Masquerados. server. Masquerados! Masquerados! If you're interested in more details on that, I will drop the link in chat one last time. But for now, Captains, we'll see you on the high seas real soon. <laughs>